right, this next one, nobody bid on it. I bid on it. It was $8.08, this .08 total shot in the dark because this guy hasn't been good at all. Lorenzo first to 75. $8.08 for this one. And when I'm trying to clean it, I hear that grittiness on it. So we'll see what it looks like when I actually look at it. Yeah, it's got a ton of print lines on it. Again, should still have a shot to fall in the nine range though. Print lining, you see it all the way down there. If you look at it just straight on, right, you can't tell. But once you get in there, kind of dig in there and get serious with it, then you can see that all the way down, right? So that's the one thing I always would caution about buying raw cards from anybody is if they don't put it in the description, assume that there's something. <laughs> assume that it's gonna be pretty rough going to get a 10. I'm not saying that sellers are looking or not at those things and then sending their trash your way. Just don't expect to see many 10s coming in the mail. It cracks me up because I see a lot of these people in the Discord and they're like, oh, this guy's market is taken off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and Give me some raw cards and I'm gonna grade them. I'm gonna buy raw to grade. Rosario and this Christian Javier, these are just throw-ins. People talking all this smack and I'm sitting here like, you really think that somebody's just randomly gonna sell you a raw card of some hot ass player? Like what are your odds of getting that on eBay? That some seller is gonna send you something that would potentially grade really high. I would say those odds are pretty low and that's just based on my buying experience. So this Alex De Jesus here, gold, to fitty, $16.25 for this. Yeah, that one's all scratched up. That That is beyond anything. You can't, I don't know if it's picking up that well, but he's got scratches all across there by the eight and the 89, and there's another one there. Yeah, that's beyond anything that should have happened at the factory. So that's a problem. But that's the exact thing that happens. You think you're slick and you're just going to go ahead and just purchase these copies of raw cards you know, the 2020 mentality, kind of trying to make a comeback. All right, two cards here. Another De Jesus for $16.68 and a Benny Montgomery Auto, $46.45. What I saw in that card is probably what you're going to see more often than not. So there's always that risk with trying to buy raw, whether it's to flip or to grade down the road or for a PC or whatever you're trying to do with it. This De Jesus here is just a straight refractor auto to $4.99. So refractor auto or the gold you just saw, about the same price, $16, $17. What would you rather have? The gold to 50 or the refractor auto to $4.99, assuming they're in the same condition. Print line down the center of the card, you can see it right there running down right by the eight. Looked like there might be like a little bit of spotting here. And then something right there by his wristband. Spotting, that time of the month. This one though, I feel better about than that gold to 50. Yeah, he was a Dodger prospect who got traded over to Toronto. So he's over there right now. Shortstop's kinda occupied by a certain somebody with hair that's almost as good as mine. Prime signature's Benny, two of 25. I was away on vacation and just got back late last night. I was putting in a lot of bids on Benny Montgomery Autos. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I lost out. I kept losing out to the same bidder on a lot of his auto stuff. So if you're out there and you were winning Benny Montgomery stuff and you kept winning and you saw yourself beating the same bidder over and over again from the February 1st to 6th time frame, fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, this card is just beat to shit on card, but look at all that. What is all that? That's hideous. What did Benny do? Benny take some dirt and just mash it into the card? Come on, Benny. What's up with that? My first Benny auto. He's trying to pick up a bunch more, but wow, this is terrible. All right, last card. I've talked about this guy before. He is going to be a backup somewhere, most likely, or traded. Coming up this season, most likely, what's going on with the draft? Picked up his Prism Auto, $40 and 98 cents. I've talked about this player before. I think he's, I, I think he needs to be in a situation where he's got something around him, but you can say that for most quarterbacks in the league, probably, aside from Zach Wilson. Davis Mills, Silver Prism Auto, sticker auto, you can see there. Pretty clean, probably a nine range. It's got a little dimple 
There you can see, and then there's a slight little print line over here. So I'm happy with that. Nice. This is actually from a seller from Hawaii that I've bought from before. So I'll show the information there about the sales price and the name of the seller. So you can take a look at that seller if you want. It's been a while since I bought from that seller, but if I recall, that seller was pretty good. So if you suck, you don't get your information shown. Today is early morning on the 13th, on the 11th of February. I went to the Burbank card show in Ontario, California. Got the hookup from my guy, the bullpen. Channel will be shown. I've talked about his channel a lot. He's always showing off higher end graded cards. He actually grabbed a pretty high end Luca from the show. I'm not gonna say how much it was, but it was way more than I've ever spent on a single card aside from maybe a few cards that I bought a long time ago. Let's talk about this real quick. Got these 10 mosaic blasters in from Fanatics. A bunch of Bowman nonsense in from Target. The Fanatics blasters, I will show you the price that I paid for them. Got the usual discount, then use the Costco gift cards, of course. A mix of 20 and 25% off on those ones. Roughly, probably about $21, $22 per blaster. That is a couple years ago price, but a whole lot better than paying $30 on Target. I've determined, based on the checklist, that a Genesis is coming out of one of these 10 blasters, and it's going to be a Facundo Compazzo. That's what we're getting. DeAndre Jordan isn't on the checklist, or else I'd go with that, so Compazzo. Genesis coming out of these boxes. Probably get to opening those in a few days. Before the show, I actually went to Snow Valley. It's a ski resort, independently owned, or it was until it was recently purchased by the individuals who own the Big Bear Mountains, who own a mountain somehow. So I actually went snowboarding for a few hours. Uh, here's a shot of me falling. Interestingly enough, a whole lot easier to snowboard when you're not trying to hold the phone and record yourself. You'd think Down already, that baby. given that fall, the next trip I would charge my GoPro battery so I don't have to worry about holding the phone. All right, just a couple things I'm adding in here and in the morning I need to go pick up some mail that was being held, some graded cards. We've got, got this Cueva raw card, paid $9 for this one. I've got another one like it coming in the mail. Pretty clean overall couple slight print lines right in that area and you can see a scratch right above that so that is definitely one that wouldn't be graded for quite some time and if it does likely a nine rangers prospect he and mora bell both tore up the rookie league got a late call up to a ball and didn't do so well so Definitely guys that I'll be keeping an eye on this year. Cueva's 18, Morbell's 19. You saw him in the previous part of the video. This next one here, raw card of the player that you are about to see a slab of. Somebody that in the previous part of the video you saw that <laughs> I ended up getting a garbage auto of. Non-first auto, this time $33.59. For this Benny Auto, number to 150. Appreciate the seller for hooking that up. Throw a little tab in there. So let's see what we got. Print lines for days on this one. A standard with the set. There you got some, some next to it. This one, probably like the Cueva, not something you want to submit for grading at this point. Since the show was out in Ontario, the card show, here's the final pickup. Graded card, PSA 10, Benny Ray Wave. Since the show was out that way, I decided to just make a full day of it. 55.39 for the card. So I went out, snowboarded for a few hours, and then I went out to the show. Again, thanks to my man, the bullpen, for the hookup. I was supposed to meet up with him out there. He and his wife actually went to the show. He got what he needed to get, so they jetted off to Vegas before I could meet up with him. But he hooked it up for me, so... Much appreciated. With the show, I got some footage. I'll edit that and put that video up. I didn't buy anything there. I thumbed through some of the dollar bins, but they didn't really have anything that I was looking for. You've seen a lot of my mail day videos, so I think you have a pretty good idea of what kind of things I'm looking for or where I'm at right now. During this January, February timeframe, they didn't really have anything there that I was looking for, so I decided to pass. I've got to head to the mailbox. When they open up, there's some stuff there that was part of a mail hold that I need to get. Bid went a little higher than I expected, but I did get it. And I noticed that some baseball stuff starting to take off. I'm not gonna sit here and act like 
I have the numbers. Neo's your guy for that. Just something I've noticed. It seems like a lot of baseball slabs, prospects, more things I'm looking at have started to take off lately. But there is an influx of raw cards coming onto the market based on the sets that have all been released in such a short time frame. You had 2022 Bowman Chrome hit the market a couple months ago. 2022 Bowman Draft, same kind of time frame a month, two months ago. And now you've got the Sapphire sets coming out. So a lot of singles coming on the market going to wait a couple weeks until things kind of calm down and then go ahead and look to see if I can jump into any breaks or keep on doing what I've been doing is kind of pick and choose singles here and there.